Hello, welcome to the third sprint of Pixel Art Academy Learn Mode. Here is our latest sprint drawing uh, in named for the drawing app that uh, will be the main thing we will be working on. If I show you how all of this looks like in adventure mode, we have the study plan and now what we will be making is the drawing app. And you will be getting these tutorials that you will go through. This is our end goal, having this run in learn mode. And then once you are done with the tutorial to show off that you can do the tools, you get a indie game pixel art sprite to copy. So let's hope everything goes smoothly and I'll see you in a week. All right, one week has passed and it's been quite a challenging one. Similar to like last week, just tasks come in that I didn't anticipate that they will take so long. This time I got stuck in working on the maintenance level on the infrastructure. It just uh, it was just a grind of uh, rewiring things at the bottom level and plugging it back in and then debugging, 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 debugging. And finally, finally today I actually got somewhere so I can show how far we've got. So now when you go to the study plan, the first task is select the drawing editor. In the drawing app, select the desktop editor on the settings page. So now when we go out, we see that the drawing app has appeared. So we can go in. And if we follow the instructions, uh, we can choose how you want to edit artworks. We choose desktop and a challenge appears. Here's a little tutorial. If we go back, we can also see that the, this task got completed. And now the, we go into basics and we're supposed to finish all of these challenges. The first one is using the pencil, fill the pixels with the dot in the middle. So when you run, you get this uh, grid where you need to place the pixels. There's nothing else to do but choose the pencils and then here we go. Uh, when you draw everything, there should be a check mark, but that's not working. So that's how far we are right now. And let's jump ahead one week to see how far I was able to get this time. Well, hello, here we are, two weeks have passed and some goals were completed, some things are still left to be done. Those of you who have been following Pixel Art Academy Adventure Mode, the development so far, uh, you know, have seen this many times before. So we're just gonna skip ahead. I added this cheating version where I can just press a button that it completes. I did rearrange a little bit how things are going and at the end of the tutorial basic section you already get the references. This is so that you can, as soon as you complete the basic tutorial, you can already move on to the next section where you would be drawing a sprite from reference. So this is the final one that you have to do. There we go. And so as soon as we have completed at least the basics tutorial, you open up also the colors and helpers, but we also open up this stuff where you will be able to complete the challenge. This part isn't working yet. That's where we are currently. I'm gonna need probably a couple of more days to finish this, but it's an essential feature of this sprint. So yeah, we have to do it. We have to put in the time. So yeah, no time to lose. All this infrastructure stuff took way longer as usual than I would have imagined, so I'm just gonna go jump back to work and let's see how it looks like in the end. Well, it is now a few days later and uh, yes, uh, we have the uh, card selection ready. So let me show you, it just took a little bit. After I now complete the final of the basic sprites, we get uh, this new section here, challenges. I rearranged it a bit, so we have tutorials first, separated from the challenges. You can continue in doing more uh, tutorials like colors and helpers, but we can also just move on and get a challenge. Here it is. We have to choose a sprite to copy so that we show that, hey, if we can, you know, if we have, we know how to use the tools, this should not be a problem. And here we have a bunch of pixel art sprites from different indie games. So we can choose between uh, monochrome ones with one color or ones with multiple ones. 
The next choice is between big and small sprites. Next up, if you can do like vehicles and this kind of stuff or characters, let's choose a character. And then do you wanna draw the hero, protagonists or the bad guys? So let's go with hero and for example, here we have final selection and we could for example draw Odus from old boy and I'm so excited uh, I'm very happy all a lot of uh, indie game uh, artists have uh, let me use their sprites which I'm very happy about yeah maybe in the future I can add even more cards so that there's even more selection of what you want to do uh, but yeah here it works and then we jump we can jump into the sprite and copy it there we go almost done pink pink Pink. There we go. And the copy sprite is complete. Unfortunately, I'm not able to make a build just now. I can run in development the desktop app, but as soon as I package it, the version of Chrome that is built into the packaging component is uh, too old. I was able to update it to a bit newer version here in development but yeah so that'll take some more time so no builds this time around but hopefully i'll get them uh, as soon as possible thank you very much for uh, another uh, month of uh, yeah following along this devlog hopefully we are steady on track to get to that steam release and if you enjoy the content i really appreciate uh, if you like the video uh, and subscribe if you haven't yet and uh, special thanks to everyone supporting me on patreon and all the kickstart backers from the past and everyone who's pre-ordered the games i really 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 appreciate you all and uh, i'm excited i can be working on this game and hopefully we'll get something uh, playable very soon ish at the end of summer probably all right see you next time and have a good time